Welcome back to Living in Wait. Having good life insurance is an important way of protecting your family during the working years, but it also has a role to play later in life as part of the retirement income plan. Here to talk about how life insurance income compares to income from stocks. Charlie Jewett from Renovating Retirement. Thank you for being here. Buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so we've talked uh, about a lot of interesting ways of using life insurance, but I want to know the stock market and life insurance, that, I mean, what's the difference there? Because a lot of people may think that that's compared to each other. A lot of people think one's for growth and one's for if you die, you know, taking care of families. Um, thankfully, 14 years ago, the first strategy I ever learned was how to create tax-free income okay. using life insurance. And I didn't make it up. It came from the 80s. Um, but there's ways of using life insurance policies to grow cash. They've beat the stock market. And there's one major advantage, which is all the growth is tax-free. Therefore, any distributions or income are tax-free. And when you pass away, it transfers tax-free versus stocks. You're going to pay capital gains, or if it's in an IRA, you're going to pay full-on income tax. Okay. So for tax-free income, nothing's beating these life insurance strategies. Okay, you're also talking about not losing money when the stock market drops. How is that even possible? Yeah, most people know two types, uh, or two, the two different ways you could grow money. One is fixed accounts, buy a CD and it goes up at 2% every year, or throw it in the stock market, risk the ups and the downs. That's called a variable. So variable, we don't know what we're going to get. Fixed account, you get a really small amount. There's a third one mm -hmm. we've had now for 20 years called indexed. When the market goes up, you get some of it. When the market goes down, you make zero, but don't ever lose money. That's why I say risk is optional. You don't need to risk money anymore. And from 2000, the year 2000 till now, those strategies without the risk, no mm -hmm. risk of losses, they've actually earned more money than the stock market. So for 16, 17 years, Risk versus reward, it's not been working, so we don't do a lot of risk right now. You don't have to lose money. Okay, are we talking about RRAs, 401k? What kind of money do you guys, uh, does somebody use for these accounts? It's a great question. Once you put money inside of an IRA or 401k, if you wanted to take it out and use these tax-free strategies, you'd have to pay taxes when you take it out. So it's not usually for IRA or, or 401k money. Some of our other strategies are. But any money you're putting away monthly out of your income or inheritance or money sitting in the bank or you just sold a house, if, it, if you don't have the arrangement with the IRS that they own piece of it, right? So it's non-qualified money is the technical term. That works like a charm for this. Or you can use the other money, pay the taxes now, get it over with, and move it over. Either way is fine. Charlie Jewett is helping set you up for later in life, and this is so important. How can somebody find out more about this? Probably the best place to start is just go to the website, uh, renovatemyplan.com. If you go to renovatemyplan.com, I'm going to walk you through six educational videos. There's no cost. And what I'm going to help you do is build a retirement plan in the comfort of your own home on one piece of paper okay. in case accounts, income accounts, and increase accounts. So this strategy falls in the income and increase area, tax-free growth or some tax-free income. Another great addition of renovating retirement. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Much more when we come back.